Hello. Well, there is a comet in the sky. It is Comet Neowise. It was discovered back in March of 2020, and it's one of the brightest comets for quite a number of years. So, I'll be telling you how you can see this comet, a little bit about it, and I'll show you the photo I took the other day. So first of all, what is a comet? Well, it's a small icy body that formed way out in the far reach of the solar system, way beyond any of the planets. A small gravitational disturbance would have taken place to kick it into an orbit, to a really elliptical orbit that brings it right into the centre of the solar system. And as it approaches the Sun, the heat from the Sun will cause some of that ice to sublimate off the surface. That ice gets pushed by the solar wind into a long tail, so we can sometimes see a tail on comets. That's what really distinguishes them from asteroids. Uh, asteroids can be mainly rocky but can be icy and uh, usually form in more circular orbits. Okay, so that's in a few seconds what a comet is. So where can you see this one? Okay, so this is really one for northern hemisphere observers. It is currently a little bit to the west of the bright star Capella in the constellation of Auriga. Uh, it is visible in the north-northwest just after sunset and in the north-northeast just before dawn. Okay, so this chart shows you the position in the morning skies on the evening of the 14th, morning of the 15th. And as the days go on, it will get fainter. Uh, and we'll be travelling further west so that by the end of the month the comet should be underneath the Big Dipper or the Plough Asterism in Ursa Major. So I'll show you the photo I took of it the other day. So you can see the really dense nucleus of the comet and the tail coming out from it. Uh, the tail points away from the sun. As I pointed out earlier it tends to be pushed by the solar wind. Okay, so thanks for watching and I hope you get to see the comet.